So is this it? Is AOH 1996 the answer we've been looking for? Is it the silver bullet in cancer treatment? Is it the wonder drug that's going to kill cancer? Well, we're going to talk about that. So the current mainstream cancer treatments have been around for approximately around 140 years or so. The first radiation treatments were in the 1880s, the first chemo in the early 1900s, and then onto immunotherapy, which became mainstream in 1980s. While we've had some tremendous strides in the treatment of cancer, they've mostly centered around the big three, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and immunotherapy. There have been others that have slowly started to break their way in, but these are the big three for right now. However, in October of 2022, the City of Hope Cancer Center in Los Angeles, California, started human trials with a new cancer treatment that may just change the landscape. That drug is AOH 1996. What is AOH 1996? It's a cancer treatment drug named after Anna Olivia Healy, a young girl born in 1996 who unfortunately was not able to beat cancer. She died of neuroblastoma, a devastating cancer that affects children. AOH 1996 was developed by Dr. Linda Malkus and her team at the Department of Molecular Diagnostics and Experimental Therapeutics at City of Hope Cancer Center in Los Angeles, California. It's a drug that targets the protein PCNA, which is responsible for the synthesis and repair of DNA within cells, as, case, as cancer is basically damaged and mutating DNA in cells. So basically, AOH tells PCNA to knock it off, stop repairing damaged DNA. Um, all cells have this. All cells do have DNA that is damaged or sometimes mutates, and the PCNA tells that cell or tells that DNA how to repair itself, when to repair itself, and to begin replication. However, the AOH drug only targets cancer PCNA. That's right, specifically targets the form of PCNA that is highly expressed in cancer cells. It has shown an ability to selectively eliminate cancer cells while ignoring non-cancer cells. So it is specifically going after the cancer PCNA and telling it, stop preparing yourself. Everything's cool. Don't look over here. Stop replicating. There's plenty of you. We don't need any more of that. While the regular cells that are not cancerous are over here continuing their thing to repair their DNA and replicate as necessary. So the cancer then starts to suffer what, what is called cell death or apoptosis. So it so ignores the non-cancerous cells and reduces or eliminates side effects. So if it's after the cancer cells and it's killing those, it's telling them not to um, replicate, not to repair themselves. But the non-cancer cells can't. We are now able to reduce or even eliminate all of the side effects such as hair loss, nausea, vomiting, weight loss. These things are greatly reduced, possibly even eliminated. So in preclinical research, it was effective in treating cancer cells from breast, prostate, brain, ovarian, cervical, skin, and lung cancers. AOH is now in clinical trials with a limited number of patients to determine the safe and effective dosage levels for particular cancers. And that trial is scheduled to end around March of 2024, with the reports are scheduled to come out shortly after that. So preliminary reports are that it's doing pretty well. Um, it's been tested uh, with no signs of trouble with six times the effective dose. Six times the effective dose with little to no side effects. That is incredible. If you can imagine going through a chemo therapy or radiation therapy and getting six times your normal dose, how that would make you feel. I think we're looking at a pretty good, uh, pretty good drug here. And AOH 1996 has been designed as a monotherapy or standalone therapy or a combination therapy to be used in conjunction with regular chemo drugs, radiation therapy, and immunotherapy. So it's designed to either work by itself or with these other drugs as necessary and which is pretty amazing stuff right so anything we can do to cut down on the amount of chemo and radiation to get us 
better, especially if we're using a drug that's not going to give us side effects or additional side effects. I'm all for that. I think that's a great way to, that's, that's great. That's fantastic news. Um, it's not a vaccine. It doesn't prevent cancer. It's not a cure for cancer. But what it is is another tool to fight cancer, and I think it's becoming as a pretty effective tool. In the last 10, 15 years or so, we've seen some dramatic out-of-the-box thinking with TT or tumor treating fields, this video here, and something like this AOH 1996. I think we're starting to see some real big strides in cancer now. And I expect to see a lot more. There's some new stuff coming out in immunotherapy as well. And we'll talk about those later. We'll talk to you later. See ya.